Hey everyone, it's Nayla, and we I literally we were just doing got invited video, to a there's party. No way you're gonna roll up to the party looking like that. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's not. Cute. We could we have done this it. off camera. Like no, right you just now. ruined Please. my video because that's a little embarrassing. Fine, I'll think of something. Okay, you know what? My twin had a point. I was looking a little raggedy, but we're gonna fix that. I'm trying to give you guys Flintstone bedrock vibes today. We're gonna turn that into cut the camera. What the f You know what? I don't even, I don't, whatever. Let's just start the video, okay? You could pause the video right here to view the supplies list. I try to make the process as simple as possible, so I'm just using a bandeau top to measure out how much fabric I wanna cut. And in the upcoming clip, you'll see that I just use my rotary cutter. You could also use scissors, but right now I'm just using my cutter to cut triangles in the bottom of the shirt. Super simple process. And after that, I did switch my idea a little bit, but we'll get to that part really soon. This is just foolproof that I am always changing my ideas last minute when I'm doing a design. My original plan was to remove the sleeves, but I said, eh, I don't really feel like it. So to make the shirt look a little bit more attractive, I just gather some fabric in the front. Really easy process. And then I manually, man, manually, I can't say that. I manually sewed or stitched, I stitched the fabric together. Yeah. If you encounter a situation where your garment does not fit you as flattering as you like, you could adjust the fabric by cutting sides off or cutting the fabric a bit shorter. That's what I had to do in my situation. And right now I decided to make a waistband. That is also optional, but I was feeling a little bit professional. So, you know, <laughs> I iron the seams and then I'm going to flip that tiny strip of fabric over that elastic band and please if you cut the elastic band do not be surprised if the elastic band or well do not be startled if the elastic band is a bit shorter than your fabric that is okay it's an elastic band it will stretch just make sure it fits comfortably then I'm just gonna leave a tiny seam allowance to stitch that area now if you do not have a sewing machine again you can use fabric glue adhesive or sew it manually and just make sure you do not sew the actual rubber band For clarification, I combined both pieces of fabric by sewing the entire length of the left side and closing the waistband. The rest of the skirt was tied. 
Now say you are as lucky as me and you have some leftover fabric and you realize, oh wow, I still have the edge or the hem of my fabric left over. You're just gonna go ahead and cut it because you don't have to go out your way to make a perfect string. Why? Because you already have a seamless piece of fabric to turn into a string that took less than five seconds. Yay! This other part is also optional. Some people like eyelets and some do not, but I will never get upset with adding a little razzle dazzle. As a shortcut, double your fabric and make two tiny incisions. That way the cut in the front and back of your skirt are even. This was the most exciting part for me. Just as you did to the top, you will repeat the same steps at the bottom and make those triangles. And that is it for this tutorial. And if you have some diamonds or some pearls, throw them on because we do not do basic stone age around these streets, okay? <laughs> but besides that, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and do not forget to share. Sharing helps me a lot and thank you so much for the support. We are at 11K subscribers. And if you have any suggestions or just wanna leave a comment, do not forget to do that down below. And you know what? I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.